Hi, this is Mai. Welcome to Dark Bay. Hi there, Mark again here from Shark Bait, uh, and I wanted to show off a, a new lure that, uh, that we are stocking now. Uh, I did not stock it before, uh, played around with these at iCast. Uh, and, you know, neat little lures. Uh, early in the season, oftentimes, you know, our targeted species are feeding on smaller baits. You know, springtime, you know, the fish get frisky, they have babies, there are little fish running around, and as much as their mothers and fathers may love those little fish, they become food for other fish. That's just the nature of the game. So, at those times, their two eyes and a wiggle for a bait it can be what the fish are feeding on. And they'll respond best to matching the hatch. The guys in the fly side know this real well. Give them what they're used to eating and they may come around. Now there are those times we fish bigger baits thinking that'll get rid of some of the small stuff. And we're not wasting time, you know, de-hooking smaller you know, fish and releasing them. You know, we can kind of focus on the big guys. But there are those times where the small baits are what we want. Certainly early season albacore, my gosh, it's been a long time since we've had them down here in Southern California, but the guys in NorCal, Oregon, Washington have been reaping the benefits of that fishery you know, for the last oh, 12 years or so, you know, maybe longer than that, getting closer to 15 before we, you know, since we had a real good albie bite. But that works for other species too. Plus, you know, aside from the early season, it's the inshore stuff you know, that will respond to small, <coughs> small baits. So let's look how small I'm talking about. We've got basically four sizes you know, that we're stocking of this lure. And boy, they go from small <laughs> to teeny. And you know, I'm trying to, my best not to hook myself with these things. Uh, and I gotta say that <laughs> these little lures are, are really, really sharp. And now these are a wonderful lead on the inside, resin on the outside lure. And you can see on the nose, you know, there's a swivel because there could be some twist, you know, no doubt. Uh, but they are just gorgeous little lures. Now, rigged on a split ring you know, for the hook. So pretty easy to change that out if you wanted to have a meteor hook on the other end. Not a problem, just pick up you know, some hyper wire uh, rings and go to town. And I gotta say, those little boogers already got me. You know, that's son of a gun. The hooks are sharp. We'll just we'll leave it there and let me wipe off the blood. Um, but there are four sizes. That's the smallest, about, oh, close to three inches, about two and three quarters. And then we get, uh, to a three, and then we get to a three and a half inch, and the largest is a four inch, this piece, which is still very, very small. You know, it's a, a very small diminutive lure, but it has some mass to it. You know, this is 35 grams, you know, so a little bit over an ounce. Now, how does that compare? You know, let's see here. One competitor, and let me <laughs> try and deal with these four lures and their hooks and get them somewhere else you know, real quickly before I nail myself again. It's not supposed to be a blood sport. Okay. Now this is, in my other hand, uh, a Nomad design. Um, a little Riptide. Nice lures. Very, very nice lures. But you can see its size, again, going after imitating a small bait, you know, a little over four inches, four and a half to five inches in length. These guys weigh 35 grams. And this is the other profile of the little Savage Gear on the glass minnow. Smaller, skinnier, yet, but the same mass. You're casting distance probably will be even greater on this piece because it's denser, you know. Um, but both very, very nice lures and they both have a similar application you know, as far as when you toss them. Other pieces we've used like this would be uh, like the, our Omega Baits, you know, metal sliders, metal swimmers you know, that we've had developed. You know, 
those metal jigs can do very, very well too. Skinny body, yeah, they've got some mass. Uh, unfortunately for most of those, I'll say with the exception of the swimmers that we had done that had more of a clear coat on them, yeah, typically that, that finish goes away fairly rapidly after a few fish. Yeah, but the lures will hold up. You know, these guys will hold up every bit as well. But that furnish or <laughs> that finish is underneath quite a bit of resin, and it's really hard to to see the thickness of that coating. But my gosh, it, it is absolutely there, and the color patterns they offer you know, are are excellent too. You know, we do the greeny, you know, but we also have a few other sizes. Let me reach in my pocket, and or a few other sizes and a few other colors. They do a dandy you know, sardine pattern. Kind of a, a nuclear chicken. You can't make it out very well, but I'll stick in some pictures on this. Yeah, but the nuclear chicken. Uh, they also do a pink glow. If that can be seen, not sure if I were doing it like. And of course, there's also an anchovy pattern here. Yeah, and the greenies. So we've got five different color patterns and four different sizes going from quite small uh, to small, <laughs> but with more mass. You know, all these guys can be cast quite well you know, using you know, spinning gear and certainly conventional gear on the pieces that are getting closer to an ounce. Um, a real nice option to have early season or inshore. You know, just a neat little lure, they're not terribly expensive. You know, they run you know, close to 10 bucks, I don't know, eight bucks up to maybe uh, close to 11. So they come in under a lot of other products like the Riptides. You know, they're probably, I don't know, close to 16 bucks. You know, nice to have options. And this is another good option, especially early in the season, which is why we're trying to bring these to your attention now. So that's it for this one. It's a short, like the lure, it's kind of short. You know, but thank you for stopping by and I hope this fits into your plans too. Neat little lure, neat little lure indeed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting Shark Bait. Thank you for all your support. I'm a punchline. Watch you sink all the time. But I can't stay away from you too long. You know your name should be Melody. Shark Bait.